Hey, what's up everyone? This is Ryan Sims and welcome to CG Hacks. And in this video, we're gonna blow some stuff up with our explosion effects. Here we are in Photoshop and I've got a really fun, cool composite of Jinx from Arcane here. And I think the only thing that it's missing is just a really awesome, huge explosion in the background. So let's check out our explosion effects. So as you can see, we have five different folders. We have aerial explosions, drops, emissive bursts, flyaways, and large explosions. So let's check out our aerial explosions and check these out. As you can see, we got a lot of really cool options for aerial explosions. Very dynamic, lots of cool stuff you can do there. Maybe blow up some jets or something fun like that. Next we have drops, just kind of like falling pieces of maybe a blown up jet from the sky. Or maybe even you could use it for missiles or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Emissive burst, lots of fun explosions you can make there. Flyaways, kind of like the drops folder, but this is a little different in the fact that you've got these flyaways kind of flying away in every direction. Maybe you can have bursts from the sides or bursts from the ground, bursts from the air things like that. And then we have our large explosion pack, which is going to be really cool, especially if you've got that, you know, walking away action movie poster type thing <laughs> where you've got an explosion in the background. So whether you're nuking a city or blowing up a gas station, whatever pyrotechnic needs you have, large explosions has you covered. And personally, I think we're going to start right here. There's a lot of cool options with large explosions that I think would be really, really nice inside my scene and so i'm going to choose here first maybe something big and bright like this right here i'm going to drag that in make sure it's in front of this layer here drag it up tilt it to the side make it kind of match the angle here boom and now we've got a big explosion that's really covering up the background kind of matching the lighting that i've got set up here Hit enter and there we go and Keep in mind that these are raw. There's not any uh, added effects to them or anything like that. So I'm probably gonna add in a motion blur. Uh, and so I'm gonna select that layer. And probably the quickest way to do this is to go up to filter, blur, and radial blur. And that radial blur is gonna start in the center and kind of work its way out in every direction. So I'm gonna try that first and probably just set the amount to like seven, something like that, Hit okay. And you can see that it's added that blur in each direction. Maybe you want to be a little bit more specific. Let me hit Control Z to undo that. And maybe you want to be a little bit more intentional with the direction of the blurs. So you can go up to Filter, Blur Gallery, Path Blur. And from here, you can actually choose the directions you want it to blur. So if I want to take this arrow, scoot it this way, maybe change the speed to like, I don't know, 15, something like that. Add another one right here by simply clicking. Click there, click on that dot to end it. We'll click in the center to add a new one and go up, click, and then click again on that white dot to end it. Click again, click out, double click to stop it. And one more time click and double click. And there we go. We have an explosion going out in all directions. Then you can hit OK to apply that effect. And there we go. We have a nice big explosion that's got a motion blur that's going out in all directions, which is awesome. But let's say you want to add even a little bit more in there, maybe adding a depth of field and a bloom effect. Normally what I like to do for that is I just like to click that layer, go up to filter, blur gallery, field blur, and from here, you can control the blur amount. Let's just start off heavy. That way you can see the effect. We'll just go to 20 and then crank up the light bokeh, say to 50, bokeh color to 50, just so you can see the effect. So now you can see our image already is blurred out. It's got this nice light bokeh around it along with the color as well. And you can increase and decrease this effect as you see fit. The Explosion Effects Pack also works really well with Oniric. So if you've got Oniric installed from Composite Nation, let's check that out real quick. Now I can apply a glow effect to this entire image if I want to. 
However, I just want to use a glow effect on the explosion itself. So I'm just going to click on that layer, go over to Oniric. I want to click on Luminosity, and it's going to take the luminosity values and make a mask out of that. Channel created. Okay. Now we're just going to hit New and open up Oniric. All right. So it starts off kind of heavy, so we're going to doctor that up. First off, I'm going to go over to Mask right here. Click on that. Load my channel in that I had of my large explosion load that in and you can see it's got everything here it's even got jinx a little bit so if i want to maybe get rid of that i can perhaps grab my eraser brush here and maybe just erase over jinx's body a little bit just a quick way to do that and hit this little green check mark now once we've done that i can play around with these effects maybe bring down the gamma just a little bit so it's not quite so glowy and from here, it's really just user preference, how much glow you want to put into the image. So I might bring the exposure down. And what's really cool is that there are some factory presets that are already built into Oniric. So we've got one that says Fire Bloom. So I'm going to click on that. And we've got one that's kind of more orange. We can play around with these settings. We can maybe crank up the saturation more if we want. Definitely bring the exposure down like so. Maybe bring down the gamma so there's a little bit less glow there. And again, at this point, it's just user preference. You can play around and add as much glow or as little glow as you would like. So now we can see a quick before and after. And then when you're done, hit save. And there you have it. We have our exported glow. Now let's back up a step. Let's say that, say we don't want a glow, but we do want a different color. Maybe we don't want this uh, normal orange explosion. Maybe it's like some type of chemical explosion and we want it to be blue or pink or something like that. There's several different ways you could do that. For one, you're gonna wanna go over to your explosion layer, click on that, go over to your adjustments. You could add a hue and saturation layer if you'd like. Make sure you click this button right here to clip it to your layer. And from there, you can just move this slider over to add some different colors. Maybe you want something that's blue. Maybe you want something that's pink or purple, something like that. And of course you would need that to match your highlights of your subject as well, because right now the highlights are orange, so it makes sense to leave it where it was. That's one way you can do it. Sometimes I'll add a new layer by hitting Control Shift N. I'll call it color, clip it to the mask, and then sometimes I'll just change the mode to color, hit OK. If I want to do a quick selection, I can hit the I hotkey Say I want it to be the same color as her hair. I can click on the color of her hair. Hit G to bring up the paint bucket tool. And then click. And boom. We have a blue explosion that's the same color as her hair. So quick fun tips there. So you can have as much fun with this pack as you want. Or as little fun as you want. But you know. You might not have a lot of fun. Let's say I want to grab something in the foreground. And just shove it in there real fast. Maybe I want some type of foreground explosion coming off from the side I'll resize that bring it over like this and kind of what we said before maybe go back up to blur feel blur I can add in a nice depth of field maybe add in some more light bokeh and bokeh color and in the process also add a path blur so I could click this box right here bring this area right here go in this direction and I can add more if I want but right now I'll just keep it like that and then hit OK. So that is our explosion effects pack from cghacks.com. This pack launches at a bang with 50% off and will be 30% off site-wide for a limited time. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please be sure to check out the rest of the products that we have at cghacks.com for all your Photoshop compositing needs. Have fun being a pyro and blowing stuff up. And until next time, create more, say less, and stay creative.